Alright, well, prawn suit. 63%, 63%. Might as well put the 84% in. Oh, right. We've already determined I can't get inside of there. Dude, go. Uh, this is the way I need to go, though, right? To get deeper. Getting turned around. But yes, now I've got power cells charging. We can come back later and swap them out. And through that, slowly get everything recharged. Now, where... kind of wandered over to that side for a bit, so I'm going to try wandering on this side. See if I see a hidden... I want to say it's in a cave. But I don't really know that. Trying to find the secret hidden facility. 1200 meters. And then another facility at 14. Actually, I don't think I've scanned these rays yet. We've already read that the all the various rays are friendly. Thank you. Not you. Uh, what do we have? Larger Babor Crimson Ray. One of the largest rays on the planet, displaying generally docile behavior. Thick scaling scales formed on the skin protect this ray from extreme temperatures, allowing it to survive in areas unpopulated by competing scavengers. Forward-mounted eye sockets suggest a predatory evolutionary history left behind long ago. Inedible. Yeah, so we're back to exploring time. More or less. Is that a cave? No, that is not. I'm hearing a lot of big, scary noises. It's a big central area. What? What am I hearing? Feels like it's coming from everywhere. Oh, dude. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, there's alien tech. Okay, let's get away from... That Leviathan. What do we have here? Oh, crystalline sulfur. We've already got tons of that. Creature eggs? No. Yeah, so you can find individual pieces of kyanite like this that don't require you to uh, have the drilling arm, but they're rare. I think this is our power plant. I 
Now how do you get in? Oh. Okay, do I have water? A little bit. Vital signs stabilizing. Ugh. Did I bring... No, I did not bring purple tablet. So I might need to go back out to my ship. Okay, we've got space for ion cubes. For a teleporter. Let's just drill up some ion cubes. Oh, we are getting lots of ion cubes. It's nice that our drill breaks them off in really nice cube chunks. That's how things get drilled normally. Okay, let's get into your storage. Pull out an ion cube. There are some materials that do have a nice structured crystalline structure. So I guess it's fair. So where are you taking me? I don't know. Is this... Oh! This is the enforcement platform. The gun. Okay. So we've got a teleporter that takes us back to Enforcement Island. From the power plant. Alright. Well, if I need to get materials from the surface... Get some lubricant. I could do that. What did I need the lubricant for? Uh, the moon pool, was it? I think so. Moon pool, lubricant, yes. So I could do that. Why not? I don't know where the nearest kelp forest is to this, but... Yeah. Might as well grab it while I'm on the surface. Might also be smart to get some more food and water while I'm down here. So here's our moon pool. Not our moon pool, the moon pool. How far? Base is really far. Ugh. Yeah, and it's just trying to find a kelp forest, and I have no idea. They're near shallows, and shallows are in safe locations. We're clearly nowhere near the shallows. Hey, uh, sharks. Yeah, whenever the music gets really active, 
feels like something is going on. Maybe I've wandered into a dangerous location that I'm just not aware of. But currently I'm just heading towards base. Because I know there's kelp forest near base. So worst case, that's a fine direction to choose to go. Oh, and I probably should also be ready with my knife. Because my knife can turn fish into food. If I spot any fish. Hey, I spotted fish. And that gives a little bit of water, but lots of food, which is currently something I'm needing. Come on. There. Oh, there's kelp. Nice. So we're looking for the little seed pods. I'll grab two or three. I haven't scanned this? Weird. Figured I would have done that pretty early on. But guess not. Alright, more food. Okay. Now we want to get back to Enforcement Island, which I don't remember where it is. Uh, let's go use this so we're faster. Man, my health is not coming back. thought I naturally heal over time, but it doesn't seem to be. Unless that's a downside of how uh, the disease is affecting me. <laughs> and now I go through another kelp forest. Come on. Also, it's interesting to me how big my oxygen tank is at this point. Because we went basically the whole way from the enforcement platform to here. Fully underwater. Not really surfacing ever. And now we're making our way most of the way back. Where I still haven't needed to surface, because I just have that much oxygen. That's insane. Yeah, so now we need to get some air. We're going through so much battery on this uh, Sea Glide. Okay, there's our moon pool. Where's the entrance? Around here somewhere, I would have thought. There it is, I think. Uh, nope. Hey, uh, Warper. You want to tell me where the moon pool entrance is? There it is. Alright. Uh, I think it was out this direction to get to our teleporter. Maybe? Through here? Yeah. It's 
So we still need to get back to the submarine to get... Wow, you have merged with the floor. That's not good. So in order to get the... Uh, key cards that I'm sure we're going to need elsewhere in the facility besides just that room. I mean, it's possible they've got lots of key cards lying around. Data terminal. Fossil data. Fossil data. New PDA data. Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility. It has been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends, genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organi organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far in 4546b. Extinction events. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentration of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event killing off a majority of the species and forcing rapid ad adaptation amongst many of the survivors. We need a purple tablet for here. That looks like that's the main power facility, I would guess. So we need two purple tablets so far. Keeps glitching out graphics there. This was purple, yes? Yes. So two purple tablets. Is that... Something I can see through there. Oh, this is just another entrance. Okay, so we just need to get two purple tablets. All right. Well, let's get back into this. Not the storage. I mean, whatever, but well, inside the prawn suit. Uh, I can't move around or jump or anything. I think because it's merged into the ground. There we go. Haha. <laughs> That would have been a problem. Alright, so now we gotta figure out how we got in here so we can figure out how to get back out. I think the cave was over there-ish. These caves. Power's not terribly bad yet. How do you make purple tablets? Because I'm wondering if it might have been better to just go back to base. I know we can make them. No, diamonds and nickel ore. Okay. No. We'll go back to our ship. Because we could have gone to base with the ion cubes we mined out and then tried to make something, but we didn't have excess diamonds and uh, I guess just diamonds. Okay, so we need to go that way and hopefully not get attacked by this leviathan that's around here. Oh, but we could get diamonds from shale. So yeah, if I didn't want to go all the way back to my ship, I could make those purple tablets on the surface. I have no idea where that leviathan is. 
I'm just cruising forward. Hey, there's a couple of rubies. I don't think I need. I think we grabbed a bunch of rubies already. But there are rubies in this area. The game is seriously mocking me. When I have to go backwards of ways to try and find materials and then it immediately shows me the materials after I've come back from my crafting trip. All right, we're getting close to our Cyclops. Oh dear. Let me just get back over here. Get back into the Cyclops. Hope the Warpers will leave me alone. I'm not hurting you guys. No need to attack me. Alright, how is the power going on this? Fully charged. Sweet. Well, let's... Uh, pull out both of these. And put in our lowest. So those will get recharged. I'll just hold on to them while I'm grabbing these chips. Emergency power only. Uh, let's get some healing going on. Vision production offline. I only have one purple tablet? Really? I don't know if I believe that. There we go. There's the two purple tablets we need. Uh. Okay. Uh, this way. Okay, so now we go back to the power facility again, this time with the two purple tablets. And we hope the Leviathan isn't nearby. But it seemed to be just basically straight ahead to get to the power facility. Dude, right there. You don't see me. We are all friends here. It's right there. It looks huge, but I'm thinking it's still really far away, which means up close it probably is even bigger. This, I think, is where our facility is, yes? Inside of here somewhere? Or not? Oh, dude, it's looking right at me. Seems to be leaving me alone, I hope. So I thought the cave to the power plant was around here somewhere. I didn't see it. Dude, leave me alone.
No, I'm getting way too close to the ship because we were like 700 meters away when we came out of the cave. Something like that. It's got to be back this way. Yeah, I remember what it looked like. It was a very obvious green door. But yeah, glowed a bunch. No, no, no. Leave me alone. Uh, I am... I definitely should have gotten food and water while I was at the ship. That's a mistake. But yeah, it was a big glowy door with... Obvious alien tech around it. was like off the floor a bit. Just why I keep looking up there. Hey Warper. I'm getting freaked out. Ow. Uh where there's my prawn suit. Dude, I am dead. They must have just hit me for a ton of damage. Get away from the walls that reach the ceiling? Okay. Well, I need to get back to my base anyway, or to the ship. Oh, it's probably this area. Okay, let's get back to the ship. Get some med kits. And we can try this again. Because I think you're right. I think it's like that area. Terrifying location to be in, though, and the warpers are definitely not making things easier. Because they just have to warp me out, take one slash at me, and I'm nearly dead. Okay, so it's across, but also a bit to the left. I think I went a bit more to the right when I headed across that open area. So let's head in here and see our battery situation. They're all charged. Start charging that one. Quickly get up here. A power cell in. 
Eh, two. Grab a med kit. Excellent. I see one of the guys. Oh, they're all over. You. We can make three lubricant. Um. Yeah. We've got those chips that I needed. Um, do I have excess med kits? I do. And some more water. Okay. And a beacon. Don't think I'm going to make the moon pool right now. But we have the option to do it if and when I change my mind. Yeah. Not critical at the moment. Uh, I guess we'll put you guys here. What else? What else? I'm trying to think what I want to get done before I head back out. I guess let's pull those batteries back out. We've done the crafting I intend to do. Um, okay. Get some food and water. Perfect. And then we've got another power cell that I can throw down in here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if we go back this way, we've got our chips, we've got food and water, we've got a med kit. Actually, 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 uh, another idea. <laughs> Because I'm keeping that power down, having the med kit maker in there is pointless. Uh, we won't have a good med kit for us when we get back here. So it makes a lot more sense. Uh, no. It's down here, right? No, it's up there. Makes more sense to grab this, yeah, and take it into our facility. So that way, when I get back from this trip, there will be a new med kit created for me. Go in. Okay, so that's going to start crafting medkits. What do medkits cost to make? Uh, no. Fiber mesh I don't have. No real good way to get it, so that's fine. I think we are now actually, actually ready to go. We 
We've already eaten, we already have water. We've got the keys that we need. Time? Oh, yeah. It is my usual stopping time. That's fair. Okay. Then sure, we will stop here, and then next time we will try and explore the rest of that, the power facility, and maybe make it down to the 400 meter facility. Which probably involves going even farther past that Leviathan. But that'll be a good thing to explore, yeah, next time. See you all then. I hope you had fun watching the stream.